Hello amigos, very welcome to today's video. My name is Miki and this is the Miki way. Before to start with this video, I would like to say thank you to all the people that are supporting my channel since now, the beginning of everything. I truly appreciate to have cool friends like you, so thank you very much for supporting my channel. If you are new, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, so that way you help me to grow this family. Today's video I would like to talk about something that is very important for us as human beings, regardless of our differences or ideologies. As a new generation of smart beings, we need to do something about our planet, because honestly, it's dying and we might be lucky enough to still be in this planet by the time when our sun runs out of energy. But honestly, I don't see a future like that. The way we are going and the way we are destroying our planet, there might be no future. Since I was a child, I heard so many times different projects on TV to protect our planet, but nobody ever taught me what it really meant. I heard once, if I am going to be the only one saving the planet, then what is the point? Basically what he was trying to say is that if you do that little bit, how is it going to help? In short words, it's better not to do it. And that's exactly how I turned to live my life. Ignoring all the facts and living in this fantasy of it doesn't matter because I won't be alive when it happens, so why would you care, right? And I wonder, how selfish are we? We have been able to invent so many incredible things that probably in the past we will never imagine that can be real. Our earth scientists are getting ready to go and start a new human life in Mars by 2030 if I'm not wrong. That means 10 years from now and if we are able to do so, if we are able to do such an amazing thing like going to live in another planet, wow, how incredible is that and yet not clean water, water, water that create diseases in your body, cancers and other random things and nobody's doing anything about that. We are trying to protect our health and all but you also have to think of what you're eating and what you're drinking and most likely everything that we drink or eat has chemicals, that's the truth. Most of us has to buy bottles of water because the water that we pay for, the water that you receive at home comes with chlorine. It is also not bad for you as a human being, it also creates extra waste of plastic. In 2008, a friend of mine invited me to go to a protest. This was against the project Conga in Peru. Conga was a mining project that contemplated the constructions of two pits located in the provinces of Cajamarca and Celedin in the department of Cajamarca. Basically their plan was to dispose their waste into this clean water lagoon. At the beginning I didn't understand how everything would work because honestly I think like governments are made this way, this is a system and this system existed way before I was born, way before my parents were born. How a few voices can change the mentality of the economy because everything is economy so no matter what we destroy it's all about economy. But she convinced me so I decided to go there and wow, long story short, the energy that I felt in that place it was amazing, it felt like it was worth it to go there and scream for something that was right. But then, after the fact that we won, <laughs> yeah, they dropped down the Conga project, thanks to this protest and all, and the people that were in charge of this, good job, congratulations, that was a great victory. But the point of this is that after that touch of inspiration, I lost it again and I started to live in ignorance again. Which means that I didn't do anything else to help the planet. So that was it for me. Imagine every single person that says the same thing like, what would make the difference if I help? But what if each one of us do a little bit of that help? Just imagine, all of that add together will be a big change. It's just that we're afraid to do something different than anybody else is doing. Maybe this is the time for us to do it. 
this is the time for us to fix what the old people did before. So this is our chance for us to help, to recover our planet, to do small things, to, to make big changes. Every week I normally buy a case of water that contains 45 bottles of water of 500 milliliters each one. That means that I use 180 bottles of water a month. That also means that I use 2160 bottles of water a year. Oh, wow, wow. My patita fell sleepy. Plastic waste is the only one of many types of waste that take too long to decompose. Normally, plastic items take up to 1,000 years to decompose in landfills, but plastic bags we use in our everyday life take up to 10 to 20 years to decompose, while plastic bottles take 450 years. I also learned that plastic bottles, they actually don't decompose and disappear, they actually just get smaller so they really don't decompose completely. I also do recycle to separate everything in different bins, but what if I can do something else that can probably reduce a little bit of my waste of plastic, especially bottles of water? Instead of complaining in my house that nobody's doing anything to change the planet, I decided that maybe I can do something small that might help a little bit the planet. Like everybody else say, if you are not part of the solution, then you're part of the problem. So I don't want to be part of the problem, I want to help. I want to help a little bit, that's what I want to do now. <laughs> and this is one of the reasons why I decided to buy a Primo water dispenser. I am not being sponsored by this brand or anything like that. I bought this with my own money. This is just me in my attempt to save the planet. So I just bought this. <laughs> <laughs> also, each 5 gallon of water you exchange saves up to 1,100 single serve plastic bottles of water. Isn't that fantastic? This item retails for around 150 US dollars and a 5 gallon of water costs you around 14 US dollars. The good thing about this is that they are refillable and it is around 35 cents per gallon. Which is another thing, water should not cost us any money, but I think that will be another subject for another video. If you want to make a change, start now. Every small change you make will help this planet to survive this ambitious and destructive economy of the human beings. Let's make a change and I also need your help for that. Please help me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Just click that red button that says subscribe and that way you will receive a message every time I update a new video. And if you found this video informative, please give me a like and don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Tell me what else I can do to save the planet. Also, if you would like to, you can follow me on my Instagram. I am going to leave the link down below in the description box so that way we can connect outside of YouTube. And if you come from Instagram, you know, subscribe. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye amigos.